Oh, so we got a new toy. Are we going to embrace the storm? We will see. Let's open it up, see what we have in here. I got out my Garrett headphones, so we'll pair those up as well. I got this through Ryan. As uh, soon as Garrett released it, I got on his pre-order list. Made in America, so definitely wanted to try it out. So we have a USB charger there. Coil lugs look identical to the ones that were on the uh, AT Pro, AT Max, Ace Apex. Nothing changed there. A right, different cam lock design here. So we have a metal shaft, two different plugs. So one will be an eight, eighth inch adapter for headphones. Yep, there's the eighth inch, adap eight, eighth inch adapter for headphones. I'm glad they changed this. I saw on the first design there was this little blue like rubber bung that held, uh, held it in. I didn't think that looked too safe, but there's our USB port for updates and charging. Cool. Yeah, those fit in nice. It's got a good feel to it. And the coil. So nothing different about this coil. If you had the AT Pro, AT Max, identical, looks the same. All right, so let's get this uh, set up. We'll get this coil on. Where are the, they must be in there, yep. All right, let's get this set up and I'll uh, show you how to pair the headphones. And we'll take a look. All right, so it's definitely going to need a charge. It only has one battery there. But let's pair these headphones. So we're going to press, uh, press plus, and then we're going to hold down the button there, and that's how fast it connected. So as long as you have the Z-Link, they are ready to go. But uh, let's get this on charge because it only has one bar. And we'll back out of here. <laughs> 